All right, we are back here on historic edition mm-hmm. of the Brian and Vinny and Granny and Craig show. Oh my lord! Oh, the comments here in this uh, this YouTube chat. Craig, awesome you could... moment to catch live. This person says, "Beautiful, Granny never fails to make my week." This is bigger than CM Punk coming back. It may be. Watch your language in the mud. Best moment in B&B show history. Oh, man. Yeah, wait till I get her a swear jar. That's a good idea there, buddy. I don't know if you could see us, Craig. We, we could see you before you came on. And, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, Granny was having some troubles and got a little frustrated and oh. used a, a naughty word. That, oh, uh, she sure ca- did. Was caught on a hot mic. Oh, wow. man. Hot mic. It's always trouble. <laughs> it is. It's dangerous. Oh, was it the big Lord. one? Not the big uh, one. No. It was. It was. It a was big a one. big one. It was a okay. big one. Santa wow. would not be happy if she if he heard it. Mm. That's yeah, a, that's unfortunate. Chris Jericho versus The Rock for the WCW title. Dude, this was the best match on the show. Yeah. You don't say. This match was fucking great, and the thing that was most notable to me, and I don't even know why, because like I always kind of knew this, but I mean Jericho has always been a great worker. But, like, The Rock is fucking a great, great worker. He really is. Like, I always knew knew that he was, like, really good. But I watched this match, and it was like, where in the fuck did they get this guy? I mean, his charisma, his interview ability, his star power, his ability to go on to be the highest paid actor in the fucking whole entire universe that we know of. And he was a great worker on top of all of that. Usually you get guys that are like, you know, they're all-timers, but maybe one thing isn't, you know, really great or whatever. Man, this Rock was unbelievable. Holy smokes, he was good in this match. So, I don't know how long this went. More than 20 minutes, I'm sure. 23 minutes. And every one of those 23 minutes was worth watching. There was no wasted time or wasted motion. Um, For the most part, there was not necessarily a great story to it other than two athletes trying to win a match. Dueling crowd What the chance. fuck more story do you need, dude? I'm not complaining. Thank you. I'm not complaining. My, but it, it's, it's, I don't know, funny is the right word, but for most of the first half, and they do a little bit of chain wrestling, and then Jericho slaps him, and they start trading punches and chops and clotheslines, and it's, it, most of the match, there's like a suplex here and there, but it's all kicking, punching, chopping, clubbering, and it, for a long time, it feels like a great heavyweight boxing match. Uh, which is totally different and totally awesome. And as I'm thinking of that, that was the exact point I wrote that down, the exact point Rock uh, gravity long chin lock. So uh, <laughs> there's long uh, or, 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 or dueling heat because both guys are beloved. There's even some Rocky sucks chance of all things here, which he clearly does not, by the way. And they're just having this awesome, awesome, awesome match. Rock, does the Rock bottom through the Spanish announce table? Everyone thinks Jericho is done. After a long delay, he throws Jericho back in, goes to the people's elbow, but as he's running, it's a trap! And Jericho grabs the foot, puts on the walls of Jericho, the place is going crazy. And then, of course, we have to make everything about Stephanie McMahon. (laughs) And she runs down, she throws a chair in the ring, and Jericho goes after Steph. She jumps off the apron. When Jericho uh, turns around, Rock DDTs him, so Jericho's down. Then Rock goes after Steph, brings her into the ring, hits her with a big-ass rock bottom. Place is going crazy. But then as the ref is trying to get her out of the ring, Jericho grabs the rock, hits what he called the breakdown, which Miz calls the skull-crushing finale, onto the chair. He tries to kick the chair out of the ring, doesn't quite make it, but the ref doesn't see it. And Jericho wins. He is your new WCW champion in a great match. Capital G, capital R-E-A-T, great you know what's amazing about this, too, is uh, when I was a kid, all I wanted was that goddamn winged eagle belt. Because, number one, it was such an awesome belt. And number two, because it did such a great job protecting the champion. And then, come 99, 2000, 2001, it was like, this title just changed and changed and changed. And then you've got a WWF champion, and you've got a WCW champion, and you've got an Intercontinental champion, and you've got a United States champion, and blah, 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 blah. So, at this point, 
you know, it's like, who cares? It's the WCW championship. David Arquette had it, whatever. Meaningless. And I'm thinking that the whole time I'm watching the match, you're like, oh, it's for the WCW title. And I'm like, who gives a fuck? But for some reason, I don't even know why, when Jericho won and they announced that Chris Jericho is the WCW champion, and I thought back to all of the shit that that guy went through in World Championship Wrestling and all the shit that all those guys went through, and they were held down, and they were driven out, and to see him crowned the WCW champion and hold that belt, I was like, God damn, that's a pretty cool thing right there. Of course, from that point, the belt, it still means nothing, but it was a cool moment. What it, what it, More what it symbolized than than what it actually meant in the moment, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it makes total sense, actually. It was cool to hear Jim Ross. They were in St. Louis tonight, and Jim Ross was talking about the St. Louis territory, and he mentioned Ric Flair about a dozen times. And then in the backdrop, you see this amazing wrestling match that, well, you probably could have seen back in the day in yep. St. Louis. Oh, absolutely. They would have loved this, yes. And this was just perfect storytelling as a Really great match. Uh, if you take out the whole Stephanie thing, um, it would have been, you know, five stars. Yep. You're exactly right, honestly. This is like, no one ever talks about this match, but you know what, though? It be. You know what? When you think about where they're going, I mean, Stephanie thing was totally fine because it's going to play into, and sure. granted, they, they fucked up WrestleMania. Well, yes. But uh, based on where they are going, I mean, it does play into a long, ongoing storyline. That's fair. It's a stupid long, ongoing storyline, but it does. It does. So afterwards, the post-match is great, too. Jericho is celebrating. Steph's gone. She, she, her plan, whatever her plan was, it failed. So Jericho is celebrating on the buckles, holding up his big gold belt. And he turns around, and there's the rock holding the chair. And time freezes. And they just stare at each other for like a solid minute. And I'm expecting... That the Rock is eventually going to like lift the chair, but then drop it and shake his hand or something. And what actually happens is he holds the chair up and out, so it's not like he's going to throw it at him. But he holds it out to Jericho and points at it, as if to say, "You only won because of this. You should be ashamed." And he turns and walks out, and Jericho holds up his belt, and he holds up the chair. <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, I won. That's what matters." It was great. Your uh, biggest fan says Vinny's Intangibles. <laughs> this should be good. Vinny's Intangibles is that his is intelligent, inspirational, and great will. Brian's Intangibles are Lord. he is a whining, comma, anger, comma, and his genetically jackhammer. Not everyone is a gifted essayist, gifted linguist. We all have our strengths. What are all wordsmiths out there? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.